Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install FreeSSL on UgoHost. Um, when you are setting up your website on UgoHost, automatically installs the FreeSSL. To be honest, but sometimes there are there are cases where it's not being installed, or there's an issue whereby um, when you click on your website, you will not see the um, SSL being active. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do how to fix that issue. And if you've not been if it has not been installed. I'm going to show you how to install it. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you have to go to do is go to your cPanel dashboard. And to do that, you have to log in. Go to Google.com. Um, let's cancel this. Click on my account. Now enter your email, and your password. Let's wait for it. loading all right so cancel this click on services click on your active service so you scroll down click on scroll down till you get to one click login click on cpanel Let's wait for it. All right, it brings us to the cPanel dashboard. Now, um, this dashboard might be different from, this one might be different to the one you might see because I think sometimes, from time to time, they change the design and the theme of the cPanel dashboard. But it's fine, the same, it's still the same process. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is to go to security. Yes, security. Click on SSL and TLS. Status. So yeah, as you can see, a mine has been added automatically, right? So it has been added. You can see that my website, balldesign.site, has been added here. The same thing with all the other um, subdomains. Now, if it hasn't been added, right, all you have to do is to just click on run auto SSL. Can you see it? Run auto SSL. So it's going to do all the process of re-adding um ssl on your website so let me just wait for it to finish loading once it's done you're going to see the auto ssl check has been completed so it's going to reload the page and you see the green um, lock icon there now um if you are running a wordpress website sometimes you will not see the effect immediately or sometimes you are not going to even see the effect so I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. And to do that, you go back to your cPanel, log into your WordPress dashboard. Um, I'll just click on WordPress. Can you see it? WordPress. I'll click on come to, just scroll down, come to current installation. Once you get to this page, scroll down, come to current installation. Click on this WordPress icon, right? I'm just showing you another way to log in. You can easily log in with your WP login.php. Oh, you can just do WP admin enter your username and password. So I'm just using this for because I'm in the panel dashboard. So let's refer it to, to log in. It's loading. All right. So as you can see, you see, speak of the devil. I can, you see that I have it activated on the cPanel dashboard, but if you check here, you see connection is not secure. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just click on plugins. Click on add new plugins. Just ignore the super catch warning for now. Click on add new plugins or add new, sorry. Enter really simple SSL. Click on install now. This particular plugin by really simple plugins. Then click on add activate. Yes, click on activate. All right. So once you've activated the plugin, you see this prompt almost ready to migrate. Click on activate SSL. Yeah, so it's going to tell me to log in 
into my dashboard again. So I'll just come back here and click on login. All right. Now you can see that what um, was giving me an error initially, you cannot see it's been logged. Um, you can see the SSL is activated. So that's if you're running a WordPress website, this is a quick fix. So another issue that happens is even if you're running a website, a WordPress website, um, sometimes you notice some page have um, SSL activated and some page don't, don't have SSL activated. So, and this mostly happens if you are running Elementor. So I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. Now to do that, let me just quickly install Elementor. So let me Elementor. Install. All right, I'm going to activate it. All right, um, it's done activating Elementor. So I'm just going to click on skip. Um, I don't want to do this. Um, just click on cancel here. So it's going to bring us back to our dashboard. So now to fix the issue, all you have to do is to, on the left hand side, go to Elementor. So go to Elementor, you click on settings, right? Settings. All right, on settings, you go to advanced. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's not settings, sorry, sorry, pardon me. Go to tools. Now go to replace, yes, go to replace URL. Now you enter, let's say you moved the website, right, recently. Um, you can enter, you can do this, right? Just copy this, your URL, copy it, paste it here. Now remove the S from the HTTP. Remove the S from the HTTP, right? Now paste it here. You remove the S from this HTTP, right? Then you now paste um, the same URL with the S at the at the end of the HTTP. So this one is without HTTP. This one is with H HTTPS. Is with the S. Sorry, this one is without the S. This one is with the S. Sorry. Um, just click on replace URL. All right. So um, in my case, I don't have that issue. But in your case, if you have that issue, you see that you see the amount of rules it was able to fix. Um, fix the old error of not having um, the SSL on some pages. So yeah, um, that's how to install and set up SSL on Ugoost. Um, if this video was helpful, kindly like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.